to catch a glimpse of this badminton bonanza unfolding here, the Total BWF Sudaman Cup 2019. It's all happening here on court two in the Guangxi Sports Center Gymnasium. And uh, you can see all ages coming in to uh, see the stars and the matches unfold across five courts today. Double session for you. This is the evening session, of course, just confirmation of the win for Liao and Su from Chinese Taipei, a 40 minute affair in men's doubles, extending their head to head to 2-0 against Chung and Tam with a 2-0 victory, 21-14, 21-17. Now then, turning our attention onto match two in this tie, the undisputed world number one, Tai Tzu Ying, takes on Chung Yan Yi of Hong Kong. The 24 year old Taiwanese, how will she go today? She has an 8-0 head to head record against today's opponent. But Chung, a very, very high level player herself. She's ranked 31 in the world and has been a top 15 player back in June a couple of years ago, 2017. She was ranked 13th in the world, Chung Nyan Yi, 26 years old. And, uh, well, she's had a pretty decent year as well. Played 15 matches, the Hong Kongese, won seven, lost eight of them. They're having a ball, aren't they? It's all happening out there. There's four active courts of high-octane badminton unfolding before their eyes. The inflatable clappers are uh, going wild. And as you can see, the Chinese flag there, no doubting who those home fans are behind. But they are embroiled in quite a tight match. I can tell you they're trailing 12-14 in the deciding game, Lee and Liu. Court two is the second from the left as we pan down from this camera angle. And as you can see, it's a really busy cauldron-like atmosphere in here on the first Sunday. As we uh, start this Total BWF Sudaman Cup day one. If this is anything to go by, we are in for an absolute belter of the week. Still awaiting the walk-on of our players. But as you can see, it's just lovely to take in the scenes from this aerial shot, isn't it? You can see the scoreboard at the far end of the hall. Ah, here they come. Tai Tzu Ying leading the way in light blue, always with that lovely warm smile. But of course, that smile will go pretty quickly as soon as she uh, stamps her foot on court and the coin toss is underway. She will don the business face. Friendships will be cast aside. There's her opponent, Chung Nyan Yi, 26 years old. Semi-final showing at the Macau Open late last year, quarter-finals of the India Open in March. Six second-round showings as well, and seven first-round showings for the lady in red. There we are. That's something that if you're a Hong Kong fan, look away right now. You don't want to be reading that. 0-8 head to head in favor of, well, the world number one. Well, a nervous-looking face from Chung. Wouldn't you be nervous if you're training 08 head to head against the uh, world number one? But in those previous head to head showings, I can tell you that she's taken Tai Tzu Ying the distance. I think it was like four occasions. So, you know, it's always been a pretty tight match, to be fair. There she is, ranked uh, number one in the world, tight. 24 years of age from Carl Schunk, playing off that career high ranking. She's been there for seemingly an eternity as well, hasn't she? Played uh, 18 matches this year, only dropped uh, two of them, won 16. Two titles, Singapore and Malaysian Open. Runner-up in the All England, of course, back in March. Quarter-final show in Malaysian Masters. She's the leading light for Chinese Taipei. And this lady with the unenviable task of taking her on. 26 years old, two years older. Born and bred in Hong Kong. Has been as high as 13. That was two years ago, June 2017. Playing off a ranking just outside the top 30 right now. But some would argue, well, hey, do you know what? She's got nothing to lose. You know, expectations all on the shoulders of uh, Tai. As we say hello to our umpire from India, Ajendra Rai. 
And Susan Taylor is the Australian service judge. Opposite him, there she is. Always uh, with a lovely smile on her face normally. She's a real character, Susan. Always very bubbly. So as I say, this the ninth chapter just about to unfold between these two. This 26-year-old, uh, she's played 15 matches, won seven, lost eight, as opposed to ties 16 and two in two losses. So Chinese Taipei will be banking on the dependable hands of Tai Tsu Ying. In a career studded with brilliant individual wins. She's got no sort of significant team titles to speak of yet, but hopefully for her, this is the year. That final of the All England and recaptured the titles in Malaysia and Singapore. The little smiling assassin appears to be back at her best. She'd like nothing more, you'd imagine, than uh, an inspiring performance here to take the team through to the title. That would be some achievement. And what's otherwise been a standout career. Matches spilling on or and off around the courts. The court you can see there is court four in the background. Just on a timeout, Victor Axelson playing his trade adjacent. So here we go then. Ladies First women's singles of All the right evening right. session. Hong Kong, represented by Chang Ang Yi. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Tai Zhu Yi. Hong Kong to Seoul. You're in the company of Paul Han, just about Play. to watch this uh, women's singles unfold. Tai Tzu Ying from Chinese Taipei against Chun Ming Yi from Hong Kong. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Cross drop from Tai. Carving across the side of the shuttle. Their last clash was in the Malaysian Masters back in January. The middle of January it was. Tai coming through in straight games on that occasion. 21-9, 21-11. Prior to that, it was in Hong Kong. Three-game affair. Things getting very tense on the adjacent court one. Deadlock in the deciding game. 19 all. It's a terrific start from Chung here. Tai so much match mileage on her clock so experienced in all situations oh that's brilliant play from chunk very disguised Five, two. three point cushion this is encouraging for hong kong fans yeah, four of their eight showings, she's uh, taken a game from Tai Tzu Ying, which uh, bodes really, really well. But you do sense if she's to come through this clash, she would need to win the opening game, you'd imagine. That would really bolster her belief. So quick to close, isn't she? 
the bit of Taiwanese with the six pack. Look at the speed here to just get on top of this so quickly. Hammer it down to the deck. Oh, that's a nice return, but Ty doesn't think so. She wants to go upstairs for the first time in the match. So just a couple of minutes of uh, active match play. Eight points played. It's all been pretty fast and furious from the off here. The beating heart denotes the fact that we are waiting for the outcome from the electronic review. Challenge has been pressed, the cogs are turning, we go upstairs, and hysteria breaks out on the adjacent court one, deadlock has just been broken, 21-20 over there, you can catch that on our sister channel. Challenge, the company of Jill Clark and Steve so, so, Pedersen. Six, three, play. Do stay with us here on two. Well, it's been a slow start, you can safely say, for Tai Tzu Ying. And that was a little snatchy as well, wasn't it? She looked like she was in the driving point of that seat, but <laughs> the driving seat at that point. <laughs> Five-point cushion for Chung, cause for concern. And that was Wayward as well. It's almost as if the sort of hollow blue from the adjacent court has uh, momentarily distracted the undisputed world number one. Spilled over the back line, though. So Chung so Yan Yi so desperate to nine. keep Tai Tzu Ying pegged back on that back line as often as she can. Just over spilling there. Hesitant there from Tai. So so Ten, four. Well, she's had a run of four consecutive points. How's Chung Yan Yi already? <laughs> Super precision with a couple of Six, tight cross nets from Tai Tzu Ying to secure this point. Look at this, this was mesmerizing in its accuracy and high skill level from Tai. Still looking unperturbed, she's trying desperately to turn this scoreline around before she hits the turn. That one's in as well. It's a hat trick of Chinese Taipei points here. The middle of this opening game. Well, she's got that look of a lady who's seen it all before, hasn't she? Who, you know, anybody who loses eight times to any other player is just bound to be a little bit sort of downbeat, really, with their mentality. Feels a little bit of a thankless task. Now, that has spilt long, and Ty won't like that. As we head to the turn, her head is bowed a little. She's uh, up against it. Chung Yan Yi has come out of the blocks 
very, very well. Lady from Hong Kong with a slender advantage here, 11 points down. Well, it was very low key from the coaching staff of Chinese Taipei eight, with uh, Tai Tsu Yin eight. there, who was rather languid and sort of lackadaisical a little with a offing. Good flurry at the back end for four straight points for the world number one. Super play from Chung. Round eight. Kept the pace up well and done well in keeping Tai pinned back to the back line on a regular basis. Managing to win the net on that occasion. She's got to find ways of scoring against that immaculate defense of Tai Tzu Ying, who's so super agile. Changing the attack lines nicely. There's power lady from the world number one here. Bossing the point from the off. Ten, well, so far she's managed to uh, escape the clutches of Tai. As Chung here. Doing very, very well, but the deficit is uh, depleting fast, you sense. Oh, there's still a few errors, though. Ty is definitely settling in here, and they are really enjoying themselves. Expected them to look a little bit glum quite quickly, but not so. Hong Kong with a sparkling start in this second rubber. That's nice. So deceptive. Service over 11, 14. Tai Tzu Ying there. <laughs> Again, she's got the magic Seven, potion out, hasn't 14. she? Their turn to cheer and hammer the clappers together. <laughs> Suddenly, you can sense that Chung Yan Yi is uh, under a little pressure. She's stressed a little here. Another flurry of points to bring deadlock in the opening game in favor of the world number one. Ladies and gentlemen, on court one, the second game is women's single between China, Chen Fei, and Malaysia, Xie Sun Ya. Oh, that's brilliant. There's a palpable upping of intensity from both players right now. You can sense that. Tai Tzu Ying doesn't want to let her nation down and wants to get a decent start. Of course they do. They both want to win the opening game and sort of set the tempo and the tone of the match. So important. She keep the world number one at bay here. Solitary point lead for Chung. Oh, she's utterly committed and entirely into this match is Chung Yan Yi. There's a terrific save there. Look at that full stretch frenzy. Straining every sinew to stay in the point, and then that was just beautiful. Backing up nicely. Tatsu Ying wanting the uh, court attended on just a Thank you. Moment to step off stage and turn her back on proceedings. A quick wipe down and slurp. So she's work to do because the ranking underdog at 31 in the world has come out flying Play. from her blocks, asking a lot of questions of the world number one. 
He's really having to knuckle down. Sun is over 14, 15. Only once before in their previous head-to-head -head meetings has Thai lost the opening game to Chung. That was in Hong Kong on home soil for the lady in red. Back in November last year, in the Hong Kong Open. But to, Tatsu Ying went on to swivel the match around in her favour, winning the next two consecutives. So. Uh, This is certainly getting tight towards the sharp end here. Uh, miss hit, busted in the lights. On. Perhaps it's the cobwebs of doubt nibbling into the mind of Chung. Oh, that's just Service kissed the tape on the way through. 16. Now, both players fighting tooth and nail for every single point here. That's gone as well. Well, there's not been a flurry of unforced errors, but there's been a few from the world number one. Delighting Chung seeing that to squirt wide. Found it. Straight smash with uh, service over 17, 18. His Merrick accuracy there, Geom geometric precision that was struck with from Tai Tzu Ying. Oh, that was super defense, wasn't it? And what a follow up as well from Tai Tzu Ying. So quick to close down the front court. Take that early and high. Look at this. Read the play nicely. So deadlock again here in this very tight opener. Exactly quarter of an hour played in this one. And tight far from having all of her own way. Who's going to blink first? Business end of this game. Super play from Chung Yan Yi. Just rushing tight there. Oh, she's found that. Hands down from the line, Frankie, Judge. That was rampant from Chung. Two game points. Chung Yan Yi from Hong Kong secures the opening game against the world number one. Tai Su Ying has got work to do. Chung securing the opener. 21 points to 18. 16 minutes played.
go to 20 seconds go to 20 seconds chang back on court well there's been some some would say wacky picks from the chinese taipei head coach in terms of selection in the men's women's doubles in the mixed as well so you know, they've been pretty much banking on their two singles athletes in tai tzu ying in, on the left of your picture here and chu tian chen coming through the singles but nothing is set in stone and this young lady 24 year old second game Taipei has a lot of work to do now. Play. She's got to secure this second game. Otherwise, Chung will draw the tie at one rubber all. That will be a fine scout, so something that uh, Tai has never done before. She's 8 and 0 oh, wins to losses against Chung. Yan Yi, she came on in really very relaxed fashion. And uh, I don't think quite knew what hit her. That's better, though. Breaking to the front quickly no. in game two. Needs to set the tone and stamp her authority on this really quickly. That was a fine cross net off the backhand wing. She'll be fully aware of just how dangerous her opponent is. Ranked at 31 in the world, being ties 13 in the world. She notched the biggest victory of her career with a heady career-defining victory over Carolina Marin of Spain to enter the semi-finals of the India Open last year, did Chung. So she is a super player when she's on form. However, that was scintillating from Tai. Cross smash. It was just so deadly accurate. Well, we mentioned earlier, if you are just joining us, welcome along in the company of Paul Hand, that in their second from last meeting, it was Chung Thank you. that uh, took the opening game in Hong Kong. But was unable to come through and get to the W because Tai Tzu Ying won the next two. Now, will things be Play. different today? The world number one under pressure from the scoreboard here. She's got that uncanny ability just to really knuckle down and go on these long flurries, these runs Solid of consecutive four, points. One, four. It's always intimidating her opponents. Well played. Chung now really Four. knows she's got to bring her best Ten. to keep the pressure on Tai Tzu Ying at this stage. Doesn't want to allow her that much wriggle room because she knows just how capable the world number one is. Of course she does. She's not beaten her in the last eight attempts. She can just go on these wild runs of points, can Tai. Such is her rich talent. First became world number one Four. in uh, women's singles Four. in December 2016, Tai. And of course, everyone remembers that rampant winning streak of 27 consecutive matches spanning 2016 and 2017 for the lady in light blue.
sheer disbelief oh. from Chung there. How did she make this? I thought I had her off balance. Look at this. How high skill level was that? Round head. Reverse slice from Tai Tzu Ying there. Oh, that's nice. Reading the play very, very well. Six, Super accurate, and they're just such rich variety Seven. flowing from the racket Four. of the world number one now. She's such a, a beautifully adventurous player with such great disguise. Terrific range of different shots and angles that she comes up with. I love it when she gets creative on the court, as Thank she you. always does. Done. It's quite remarkable with a very relaxed hitting motion as well. But she can be a little inconsistent, and we saw some off that Eight. in the opening game from Ty. Still three-point cushion now. Eight, four. Really starting to stress Chung Nine, and pressure four. her, evidently, you can see. She's uh, taking her time and space away very effectively is the world number one right now. She's knuckled down, I guess some would say. Well done. I'm pretty sure that's one Nine. champ. Former world number one. Service over ten five. Touch the net, did Chung there. So, firm umpiring from the Indian umpire, Ajendra Rai, and uh, Tai Tzu Ying. 11-5 advantage in this must-win game, too. Eleven, five, play. Twelve, five. Spilling over the back line there, the world number one, but things really reeling in her favour generally in game two here. There's been much more discipline from the world number one. She's on lockdown with the concentration. There's not the smiling that we had as she was uh, warming up. She looked almost too relaxed, didn't she, as she came out here? 
This is better now. A couple of unforced errors, Seven. though. Red. Oh, she just spilled wide there and a little frustrated judging from the body language at the end of the point. What a long, grueling rally that was. And even Tai Tzu Ying, after that 32-shot rally, is uh, just heaving for uh, recovery breaths. That was a real punishing rally. Two consecutive points now for the world number one. Will she build from here? She has done earlier in the game so well. Popped up a little too high there and was taken advantage of. Chung so desperate to close this match out in two games. Of course she is. Can she do something she's never done before, this 26-year-old from Hong Kong? And get a win over the world number one. sort of 14. mini lapses in concentration. We mentioned it earlier, but uh, she could pay a heavy price for that kind of stuff. Particularly in game two here, where she really needs to play some super tight badminton to keep this player at arm's length. 14, 14. Four in a row for Chung Yan Yi. Now, Tai Tzu Ying really needs to get a grip right now. Chung Yan Yi has stepped off stage. She's going for the towel momentarily. Knows how important this is. Knows that Tai will want to really make amends right now. The second game is getting frustratingly tight for the world number one on the left of your picture there. She's leaving it rather late, isn't she? Fifteen on. 
very unpredictable and spontaneous. It's costing her at the moment. Lacking in concentration here, and Chung raising the bar evidently in front of her eyes. That has just spilt wide of the sideline as well. 16, 15. And suddenly, from nowhere, the player from Hong Kong breaks to the front in game two for the first time in the match. from both players but it was the world number one that yielded in the end 17, 17. super rally again chung really getting stuck in here asking tough questions of tai tzu ying will you yield and she did there chung nian yi really enjoying her time on show court two this evening can she do the unthinkable something she's not done in eight previous attempts against the world number one. Four points away from what would be her biggest ever scalp. Ah, spills wide there. So this on 16. Tai Tzu Ying really having to go to the trenches now. Jung, Jung. Her best set plays against her opponent's Don't weakest areas. She knows it. Looking upwards for a little divine inspiration. Play. Brilliant from Chung. Can she? Is the question on everybody's lips right now. Ty so quick to pounce. A timely flurry from the world number one but she needs more points like that. Trailing just a solitary point, 17-18 to Chung. Nyan Yi. Oh, that was a nervous return. And they can delight in that. No, it's gone. And how about that? Chung Yan Yi is playing really, really solidly against the world number one in the crunch here. Can she get across the line? Two points away. Oh, that is stunning from Tai. Chung leaving it all out there, throwing herself around the court, giving her utmost to defend against this. Okay. To no avail in the end, that point. So, deadlock on the scoreboard. Thank you. 37 minutes played on court two here. What will unfold yeah. next? Drama to the max in what Chinese Taipei assumed would be the banker. And he had eight wins over this opponent today in the past. Tai Tzu Ying really grappling with her. That's gone as well. Tai Tzu Ying cool, calm and composed. Letting that one drop wide. 
umpire Wamalaji Suba from Sri Lanka. Service charge Wang Mai Na Bito from Hong Kong. That's gone as well. And Tai Tzu Ying. As she so often does, survives another huge moment and hangs on in there. We're going to be treated to a deciding game. What will unfold in game three? Don't go anywhere. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-19. Tai Tzu Ying, the world number one, back in this women's singles. Ladies and gentlemen, on the court for the fourth game is men's doubles between Macau, China, Plan Tima, No Fu Fai, against the Wing Lad Laboratory Astronauts, Yen Patrick Nielsen, Umpire Banyana from Indonesia, Service Draft, Bertha Garcia from Peru. We go on in Nanning. Can Chung Yan Yi find a way against an opponent she's never beaten? Came so close to within two points of getting the win in the last game. But the rug was pulled out from under her feet at the final game. Business end of the that ball. second game. 38 minutes played. Here we go then. Play. It's a one-game shootout. Serve spills long. Service over two, one. She'd love to do over all. there the way that she just turned away from that mistake so quickly. Furious with herself in netting that one. Deadlock again on the scoreboard. This is beautiful. When she really wants to knuckle Service down, she kind of three, muscles two. her way through and red lines with tempo, doesn't she? Chung must be really frustrated playing Tai Tzu Ying. You know, she's taken her the distance on now what's, you know, five occasions and come up short. Can she find a way through today and do something she's never been able to before, win that deciding game? Consecutive Taiwanese points. 
stamping her authority all over this deciding game. Tai Tzu Ying. Make that five. Seven, two. She's rampant right now, the world number one. She knows she can ill afford any lapses in concentration as she had in that opening game. Really has to knuckle down and get this done. Because, of course, if Chinese Taipei want to go deep in the tournament, the fourth seeds have to be efficient about the way they ply their trade. They need to get through these kind of matches in straight game affairs, ideally, because it's going to be a long week if they want to go where they dream. Strong arming away through that point as well. Building a beautiful cross net with the forehand wing to secure the point. Look at this. Ultimate in disguise and stealth. Out. Service over three, nine. Well, the run of points stops at seven for Chinese Taipei. Now Chung. Can she go on a, another rampant run? Ty is just rushing her off the court, isn't she? Strong, flat, hard drives. Pinning her to the back line. Not allowing her any wriggle room and then just closing in. Gobbling up anything around the net. It's a heady advantage for Tai Tsu Ying as normality, normality sort of resumes on Cho Court 2. Chinese Taipei again in the box seat. Dark reminder, she's the world number one. Her physicality is now really imposing, isn't it? And it's got a, an ominous feel about it right now for the lady in light blue. Chung is visibly stressed and being yanked from all four corners of the court. Looking around, kind of semi distracted, just wanting a little breather from all of the onslaught from Tai. It's become a really physically grueling contest. There's been a real palpable upping of tempo from Tai. The match is fast and furious right now. It's almost as if she wants to. Engage in a really grueling ask for her opponent.
there's a real urgency about them both right now. Such an investment physically, emotionally. This re really did have it all, this rally, didn't it? Super clear to the back line there from Chung. And that one, well, it thought about wriggling over. Bobbled the right side for Hong Kong in the end. Hurry up, hurry up. Chung commendably leaving it all out there. I think she's got a little bit of a blood wound here. She needs just to perhaps get the uh, doctor on with the plaster. The arm goes aloft from the umpire as if to gesticulate. We need the doctor out here, guys. And there's been a challenge on another court. The heart beating in the background. Announcing just that. Well, it's been a really watchable encounter, hasn't it? Filled with suspense and drama to the max, particularly at the back end of that second game where Chung Yan Yi was just two points away from the win. What is it? But she will feel relieved right now that the doctor has to dress this blood wound. It's just practice in the badminton world. Tai Tzu Ying just pacing around like a panther at the back of the court, desperate to resume and sort of sustain all of the, the fatigue in the legs of Chung. Wounds okay. Plaster is on. We resume. Chuntering away to herself under her breath. Tai Tzu Ying. Mopping her brow. Ready to go again. Back to work. Never tire of watching that. The ultimate in deception. It's become a lopsided decider, that's for sure. Tai Tzu Ying really showing her colours now. Suddenly, the wheels fight. are coming off of Chung's performance. She did so well to retain that high level for well over a game and a half. Well, it's just flamboyant and elegant and fight. brilliant from Tai. The way that she swung this around her way is. Uh, Spellbinding. And that's gone as well. 95. You sense this, the point of no return. Tai Tzu Ying now really setting sail for home. Six consecutive points for Tai. Now, what's this all about? I think she gestured that she wanted a challenge there, but it wasn't uh, loud and clear or immediate, perhaps. Just wide. So, 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 six, 19. So after 53 minutes, Tai Tzu Ying 
14 match points. Service over 7 20. So the nonchalance is back from the world number one. Can she get across the line this time? Third time lucky. Ding. Well, quite honestly, it was a terrific match, but a lopsided deciding game. Tai Tzu Ying, the undisputed world number one, comes through inside 54 minutes in a very tight match. But it was an emphatic third game that got her home. Right. 21 points to eight in the decider. She had more bite in her attack, did Tai Tzu Ying, and she upped the pace just in the nick of time. Came perilously close to actually going out, though. Chung just two points away, but unable to get to the W. Tai Tzu Ying coming through. There's confirmation of the scoreline. 18-21, 21-19, 21-8.